हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज विरेन एंड वेलकम टू द फाइनल फैंटेसी मैच प्रीव्यू फॉर दिस सीजन दिस प्रीव्यू इज पावर्ड बाय फैन टू प्ले लाइक यू ऑल नो एंड द डिपॉजिट इज गिव अवे इज ऑन इट्स लास्ट डे सो टुडे यू मस्ट गो यूज द कोड गिव अवे ऑन द फैन टू प्ले ऐप एंड मेक अ नाइस गुड डिपॉजिट बिकॉज यू गेट टू विन either an activa or a bullet or a one plus phone and so many other prizes up till the 50th rank and the best part you can see your rank on the leaderboard so you make a deposit as per the ranking that you want so if you know that the second prize has a deposit of currently 3 lakhs for example you go and make a deposit slightly higher than that so you can win that prize all the good luck to you for this final game we'll go- going to get you a really good preview for this one and remember to make 25 teams and seize the advantage on the fan to play leaderboard because this is your final chance we have a super special guest joining us for one last time for the finals of the IPL how are you doing nikhil and are you all set for the game yes thankfully novels is returned uh, even though it is the a, a remote sense of it but still much much better time time to enjoy uh, some really special batting from partidar butler all right and uh, how many drop catches are you predicting i think that is the buzzer that i'm going to give you for this game let us know how many drop catches you feel are going to happen in this one at least two at least two theek <laughs> hai we are putting that on record and we'll display that during the man of the match presentation of the final yes. so let's get to the team then for today Okay so first up uh, we are looking at the keepers I will yeah. not ask you who you want to pick I'll ask you who you want to drop <laughs> So uh, Saha it is then uh, unfortunately hmm. I, uh, I think while while in chase Saha may give you good returns as well possibly because if the rate because chasing has been easier in hmm. uh, um Motela so if you feel that Rajasthan will not put up a tall score something like that hmm. something like with yesterday then you can take sa uh, but otherwise batting first i think there might be too much of an intent issue where sa could come off but he could also be mm. taking to because gill doesn't usually take those risk earlier so right then uh, i think sa is a good pick for mini gl i feel okay so we are going with two keepers and butler and samson uh then on to the batsmen again gill and miller look like locks based on the kind of form they're showing who yeah. do you think will be a good uh, rr batter to supplement them uh jaiswal has started very well, very well but i do expect a lot of wickets to fall especially mm. given up since have been in the first phase and uh, not every team is like rcb to allow uh, rr to just hit boundaries and not bowl their best bowlers and so and under the long mm. yeah so i think uh, you can take any one of particle hatmire or jaiswal depending mm. on who Feel is much better suited again. Like I said, for Saha, Jaiswal is much better suited in chases because he knows how hard he has to go, and then mm. it Butler's job also easier. So probably Jaiswal in chases and Hetmyer if he Hetmyer if he bat if he bats first. Okay, so I'll slot in Hetmyer for now, assuming that RR is going to bat first. Then no. the all-rounder, I think there is one tempting choice only in Hardik. Apart from that, Ashwin bowled really well, but do you see him making it on this pitch? Uh, he should get some help, but I do feel the middle order, the middle order of Gujarat has faced been much better as compared to a hmm. lot of others. Now it would be stupid if they all get out to Ashwin and Chahal tomorrow, but uh, again, that's not something that we can do, control. <laughs> so. Uh, unless ashwin is promoted up the order i don't hmm. see him taking three four wickets so even if he takes one or two hmm. it's manageable so hopefully hmm. that is what happens right and uh, we also have another interesting choice in sai kishore who has been bowling very well but not getting as many wickets yeah. but rr is left hand heavy packed so do you actually see him bowling his full quota also or will like a tevati or someone actually come in in this game yeah i do feel sai will bowl uh, he's hmm. a uh, i hopefully gujarat will show enough backing in him uh, what i think will also matter is how hardik goes as a bowler uh, because hmm. i'm sure If it tempted to bowl, he does get extra bounce from that surface. Uh, if he can nip out a few early, then Sai can come in and really bowl to anyone who's there at the other end. And the setup is very important. The start that. Hmm. Uh, 
So, again, a very good mini GL pick uh, because I don't think Sai is a bowler who will have trouble bowling to left-handed batters. I think he's very smart. Uh, just very surprising that teams have really not used him well, uh, well enough so far. Right, makes sense. Okay, so I think we have so many slots left and yep. a lot of bowlers on offer. And I'm yes. assuming that you want to stack it up with guys who are going to get really good bounce from the pitch. And I think Prasid makes makes himself the first pick in that scenario because he seems at home here. Apart from that, who else do you see having similar notions? Yeah, so I, I'll definitely still take the two leggies in Chahal and hmm. Prasid uh, because I think they will add a lot of value. Uh, they both can use the bounce really well. Uh, and uh, very interesting to see how Chael comes off because he's had two poor games now. So, he'll hmm. be desperate and Rashid again. He gives you value with the bat as well and uh, those crucial hits down the order can be very important. So, those two, uh, I think Obed McCoy makes a very good case for himself with the way he's bowled in the recent games. A lot of hmm. control at times might be an issue but I think the, his action makes you uh, feel that he'll get more bounce. He's, he's shown that in the uh, games that he's played. So, uh, two bowlers from Gujarat then, in Mohamed Shami and Rashid Khan and three from Rajasthan in Chehel, Prasid and Over. Again, this is assuming that uh, they bowl first. Hmm. People can trend bowl if they want. Uh, in that case, maybe they can drop a Chehel or a Shami in that scenario and then make it in uh, favour of Rajasthan. Like completely in favour of Rajasthan but then you'll have to drop Gil or Hardik as well because yeah. uh, that ritual will happen. Uh, I will make one team where I will make Trent Bolt the captain and not take any Indian right-handed <laughs> batter. Uh, just just for the sake of it. So, yeah. I think that those will be the five bowlers. Chehel, Shami, Prasid, Rashid and Ubrid. For now. Right. And you see Bolt and Alzari more as mini GL options rather than small league options. Yes, yes. Purely because uh, okay. both of them have bowled very, uh, very differently in terms of the patterns. Hmm. Bolt has Pull three overs on the trot, and uh, sometimes he hasn't even looked like looked that thing. Uh, and every day Maxwell, like people will not throw their wickets like Maxwell did yesterday. So hmm. because I think that's the turning point of the game, uh, a set Maxwell could do a, a lot of damage there. But again, uh, that's gone. So both Bolt and Joseph, uh, they are used also very differently. Sometimes Joseph hasn't bowled four overs as well. So I think that makes him a very tricky pick as well. Right. Uh, there's one interesting thing which I have been reading about and hearing is that the Gujarat team has two foreigners who are performing really well. One is Miller and the other is Rashid. But on the other hand, you have two players in those three in those out of those three players in two slots, Wade and one of Lockie and Alzari, and none of them have really lit it up. So, do you feel like maybe Gujarat has a ace up their sleeve with some mystery spin of Noor Ahmed coming in the final against? Maybe Hetmeyer and Particle, all of the guys who are not as comfortable against spin and Noor will turn it away from them. Do you see something like that happening? Because their foreigners are not having much impact apart from the first two. See, it is it is possible, but I do feel it might be too big a risk to take for the one day. Uh, mm -hmm. Again, it beyond Noor Ahmed to show his temperament as a bowler. But uh, see, Rajasthan have played spin very well. Uh, they mm -hmm. rarely lost in clunks to spin. So, and there is no Anid Vasaranga as well for Samson to really come down and have mm. a free go. So, uh, <laughs> they can definitely do that. But I do feel the conditions mm. that in, in Ahmedabad, uh, mm. again, for a change, I'm agreeing with Hayden that the conditions might suit Wade, might. That's a, that's a mm. proper might, ala might. So, uh, hopefully, it, it suits him and he plays freely. Uh, and because if he takes off, then the batting will look really, really scary because if he comes off, then you have Miller, Hardik, Tevat and uh, Tevat is also there and then you have Rashid Khan as well. So, it will mm. really that batting line up for a lot of runs in the last 10 overs. So, uh, hopefully, Wade can use the conditions really well and uh, I think power play will be key. If Rajasthan, if both teams should be matter, for that matter, don't lose more than one wicket, uh, I think we should be in for a cracker of a game. Okay, so then who do you see as a guys lighting this up as your captain and vice captain apart from maybe Hardik or Butler? Any left field choices? 
uh, to be honest, very hard to look beyond Butler right now because of the way he's bad. It look there are some guys you can take risk on on basis of mm. how they are a particular matchup or a particular bowl. That is not the case with Joss. He's he's shown that he's really in control of everything that's happening around him, and then that mm. makes him a very safe pick at least for small leagues. In mini grand leagues, you will always have plenty of options that you can try. Samson, you can try a Padikal, you can try. a jaiswal in the chase you can try hetmeyer as well mm. so with batters you will always have that option and with the ball the issue is we know how good the pitch reports have been and if we get that pitch report wrong and we pack the wrong set of a uh, wrong set of guys say you pack an aljari joseph or you pack a prasit kasha and they are used differently like prasit kasha mm. prasit kasha they bowl three overs in a power play he mm. came at the visibly not taken more than one But he ended up with three, so it's a completely different challenge there, uh, because hmm. teams are people differently. So, in that sense, probably two guys that I can definitely try is uh, if Rashid bowls second, uh, hmm. because hasn't been there hasn't been much due, so Rashid will be in the game, and Obed Makhoy if he bowls first, just like he did yesterday. Uh, I think he adds a lot of value in the death overs. Right, makes sense. And uh, like if you, like we saw yesterday, Prasid was getting movement up front. Do you, so do you see if Shami bowls first, he can replicate the similar sort of role, and maybe he can run through the batting as well. Yes, yes. Just like what we said for Trent Bolt, we have to do the same thing for mm. Shami as well. Uh, he's a very good seam bowler. Prasid did the same thing yesterday. So, uh, like I said, conditions are going to be very, very important. If if it's moving, Shami will always be causing trouble. But again, we have to be very sure that if it doesn't move and he still bowls three in the power play, then it makes him a very difficult pick because if he's not yeah. up, he may not even bowl the fourth over. So that is the risk hmm. with guy being captain because I made him captain in almost every game in in a mini GL. <laughs> Apart from the first game where he took three, uh, rest of the times I've always struggled to find something big back because he's taken one. Or a two, and then that's it. But then that is easily coverable by a common captain. So, uh, hmm. in the then the entire combination has to be such that you take the other guy as well, who is who is going to take the wickets after he takes the wicket. Got it. Makes sense. And uh, finally, the challenge picks. I know that Butler and Hardik will be in everyone's team, but I want the third X factor pick from you. And who would be on that list? Maybe, and maybe you can even give us a scenario based there. uh very tempted to take between uh, miller obed and rashid uh mm. again miller of his form and the way he's batted uh he's looked very good so if i feel miller will again come good in the chase then miller otherwise mm. uh i feel no he may not get much to bat i'll pick probably obed or rashid depending on just the conditions the toss yeah okay Okay, so I guess we have it all. Then, apart from that, you can join the giveaway. This is the last one on the Fan to Play app exclusively, and the code for this one is F I N S U N. So ensure you join this last one. Get all your friends along. You have all the unlimited spots open for this one. So ensure you join it. And any closing comments from you, Nikhil? Thank you so much. Before you give your closing comments, too, you've joined us for so many of these previews, and you've been so good with them. Thank you so much for that, too. No, no, very, very kind words for uh, for that. Just trying to see if those predictions that come right during the game happen here as well. Uh, so hopefully that uh, always continues. And yes, the closing comment is just enjoy the game. Uh, it's a final. Uh, strange things have happened mm. the entire season, so they could happen again. But yes, enjoy the game. Uh, maybe one last time. Agree totally. I think this is the game where you don't want to be. We want to be. You will probably be more emotionally invested than financially. So you should yeah. just go ahead and enjoy this one. So all the good luck to every one of you, and have a great year ahead too. Yes, happy winnings, guys. Take care.